We're now going to take a look at another form of iteration. Up until this point, we've been doing what is called definite iteration. And we've been using the for statement in Python to be able to accomplish that type of iteration. So remember that the way that this works is we can say for some variable in a range of values, perhaps the range goes from 0 to 9, so we say range 10, and then we can put a statement that we would like to repeat that many times in the body of the for statement. And the way that this is going to work then is that the print hello will be performed once for every value in that sequence. So it will be performed when c is equal to 0, when c is equal to 1, c is equal to 2, c is equal to 3, and so on, up to c being equal to 9, because the range function returns the values from 0 up to 9, because 10 is the upper bound, which we don't include. So when we run this program, we see that we have 10 occurrences of the word hello. In this section, we're going to study a different way to perform iteration using a statement which allows us to build what's called indefinite iteration. And the way that indefinite iteration works is that it bases the repetition on a question. So again, we're going to use Boolean expressions to denote questions. That question will either have a true part or it will have a false part. If the question is true, we're going to perform some task. But the idea is that once we are finished performing the task, we'll go back and ask the question again. And so there's the repetition that's going to occur. As long as that question is true, we'll continue to perform that task. If the question ever fails, then we will simply continue on with the program in sequence. This particular structure is known as a while loop or a while statement. While this Boolean expression is true, perform the statement. So let's go back to our example where we're going to print the word hello ten times and instead let's write this using a while statement. Now the first thing to realize is that since the for statement did all of the counting for us, that's something that we're now going to have to implement on our own. And so we're going to need a variable to count the number of times we've printed the word hello. So let's just choose the variable c for count. Well, let's actually use the word count. So count, and we'll start that out at 0. Now what we're going to say is while the count is less than we would like to print the word hello. So what's going to happen now is that as long as the value of count remains less than 10, we'll continue to print the word hello, but if we leave the program like this we have a problem because the condition count less than 10 will never change. It'll always be true because 0 is always less than 10. What we need to also add is something that changes the uh, question that we're asking so that eventually that question might fail. And the obvious thing to do here is to say that once we print the word hello, we've counted one more time that we've done the print, and so we should add one to our variable count using this accumulator pattern. So when the count is zero, 0 is less than 10 is true, we'll print the word hello, and now count is 1. We've done it one time. Now we go back up and ask the question, is count still less than 10? Well, it is, so we print hello, and now count becomes 2. Likewise, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but when we've done it the 10th time, and we come back up to our condition, the question 10 less than 10 will fail, 
and the while loop will be completed and then we will continue on and let's just print out the word done as we did in our last example. The word done will only occur once all 10 of those prints have occurred. So now when I run the program we can see that I get the 10 occurrences of the word hello followed by the word done. This while structure allows me then to write iteration where I don't know necessarily how many times I'm going to iterate but instead what I do know is that when this condition fails I will stop. Until it fails I will keep going but as soon as it fails I'll continue on.